If you've got more than one cat, you'll know just how difficult it can be to feed them different diets or different amounts. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you five strategies for how to feed multiple cats different amounts and how to keep cats from eating each other's food. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from ourpetshealth.com where I bring you pet health advice to help you and your pet live as healthy and happier life as possible. There could be a number of different reasons why you might want to feed your cats different amounts or different diets. It might be that one of your cats is overweight and the other one is healthy or too thin, so you need to feed them different amounts. You might have cats of different ages and need to feed one, say, a kitten food and one an adult food. It might even be that one cat is unwell or suffers from a medical condition that means they need to be fed a special prescription diet, but your other cats are perfectly healthy and you want to continue feeding a normal, cheaper maintenance diet. So my first way to feed multiple cats different diets or control how much each cat eats is to use an automatic microchip cat feeder. This is the most expensive option but also probably the simplest and most reliable depending on your lifestyle and your cat's eating habits. So an automatic microchip cat feeder will only open and allow a cat to eat that has the microchip that has been programmed into the unit. Now while it's best that your cat is microchipped there are also collar tags that can be used instead. When your cat tries to eat from the bowl, their chip is scanned and they're allowed to eat from the bowl and the covers will open automatically. If they're not allowed to eat though, then the covers will remain closed. So um, I'll put a, put a couple of links to those microchip pet feeders um, just in the description down below. So a slightly cheaper but equally effective way to feed multiple cats differently is to use a microchip cat flap and that can control which cats can enter a certain room. You could for example only allow your healthy cats into the laundry to eat normal food and have a prescription diet down in the kitchen that's accessible to all. Now this would of course allow all your cats to eat that prescription diet but this is highly unlikely to cause any kind of health problem. By and large they're designed to be complete diets suitable for all adult cats although you might need to be careful if you have a kitten depending on what the diet is. It will mean though that your unwell cat will not be able to eat the normal food and just one mouthful in the case of allergic skin disease or hypothyroidism can be enough to make the diet ineffective so this strategy can really help just prevent this being a concern for your unwell cat. If you don't have a separate room to feed um, your other cats in, or you don't want to put cat doors in your house, then you could instead use the microchip cat door um, attached to a large pet crate. Um, and the end result will be the same, only those cats programmed to go through that cat door will be able to access the inside of the crate and eat the food that you put there. Okay, moving on to a slightly lower tech and cheaper solution. Um, my third way to feed multiple cats works when your cats are different sizes. So the main reason to use these strategies would really be when you have an adult cat and a kitten or if one of your cat is morbidly obese and the other one is a healthy body condition and they are a significantly different size. So there are two techniques with, um, with these situations. You could either just use a door stop to keep the door open to such an extent that only your small cat can get through but it's too narrow for your big cat. Or you could feed your small cat in a box that is accessible just by a small hole cut in the side that is again too small for your fat cat to get through. Now, these might sound a bit far-fetched, but you'll be surprised how well that they can work in feeding multiple cats different diets when there are significant kind of size discrepancies. Along the same lines of making one lot of food inaccessible to certain individuals, if you have an old cat, you might notice that they're not able to get up to places that your younger cat can get to. And this means that you could feed your younger cats on normal food up high or wherever the inaccessible place is and keep your older cats prescription food um, or senior diet in an easily accessible position. Of course, your lack of mobility in that cat shouldn't go otherwise ignored. Arthritis is a very common disease in older cats and chronic pain is not something that they should have to put up with. And there are many home arthritis management strategies that you can implement and other very effective arthritis, arthritis treatments you can give to make sure that your cat's quality of life is not compromised. So talking to your vet and getting your cat examined is definitely something you should do if you find your cat's mobility is not what it once was. But equally, this can be a very effective strategy. And finally, there is nothing like supervising feeding time when it comes to feeding multiple cats. So supervised feeding times make sure that each cat only eats from their own bowl and it doesn't steal food from slower eating housemates. Supervised feeding times also means that you can keep an eye on each cat's appetite. After all, if you just put food down into a few bowls and walk away, how do you know if one cat is becoming sick and is stopping eating? 
Set meal times are always better than ad-lib feeding as well. And to make things easier for you, you could place food bowls, you should place the food bowls as far away as possible, or even feed in different rooms. And you can even feed each cat in their own travel crate. If they're shut in with their food, then they won't be able to eat it. And you'll be certain that no cat is eating more than they should be or getting to a diet that they shouldn't be eating. Now this can also help your cat become very comfortable with spending time in their crate, which can make trips to the vet or the cattery or traveling in the car a lot less stressful if you're able to get them into their crate without any problem. So while feeding all of your cats in a multi-cat household might be stressful for you, it's also stressful for your cat. Whenever you have more than one cat, there will inevitably be some degree of stress and friction between your cats. And you can learn all about keeping your cats relaxed in more ways than just managing feeding in my video all about how to reduce stress in cats. So if you've come up with any unique or ingenious strategies to feed your cats different diets, then I'd really love to hear them in the comments down below. And if you try any of these techniques, then let me know how you get on. But until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family.